Hi everybody, we are going to make a darling little paintbrush project for the Cards TV design team. And the two stamp sets that I'm going to be using today are called Good Times. And the other one that I'm going to be using today is Going in Circles. So I'm going to be using Happy Valentine's Day from Going in Circles and Paint the Town Red from Good Times. So what I've got here is a file from SVG Cutting Files. And this is going to be a cute little paint box. So before we get started, I think I'm going to just add all the little parts that go to it. So this will be the actual paintbrush portion. So let me get that added to here with my tape gun. I'm just going to put some of that on the back of this to get it to adhere nicely. There we go. And then we need to add the part that goes, let's see, there's a couple parts that go on the side, and that's these little red portions here. So I'm just going to do this again, add some more tape to it, and get that down here. That looks great. And then we've got another red piece that goes on the other side. So I will use that over here. Perfect. Get that added right here. Really cute. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is add the gray parts to make it look like it is an actual um, paintbrush here. I'm seeing my tape gun is popping up here. Let me get that locked into place here. Okay, so this goes down below here. There we go. And then I've got a little piece that goes over to this side here. So it kind of looks like the metal part of the paintbrush. So we'll just add that right here. And then I did edge these with black just so it would stand out a little bit more. So just letting you know that I did that on here. You guys should not see me do that on camera, but I did look a little bit of the prep work ahead of time just to make life a little bit easier and last but not least uh, I've got this part that goes right here this little gray part so I'm just gonna go down on a strip right there there we go I'll put that right here and now what I'm going to do is go ahead and put my little Happy Valentine's Day, like that. And it's got a little heart that actually is on the stamp set going in circles. So now I'm going to start assembling this. And I'm just going to flip it over and start peeling off some of the items here. So what I've done is just gone ahead and stick all the little pieces together here. And then this is all still sticky remaining. So I'm going to go ahead and peel off the two pieces here onto the side where the box will fold over. And then I am going to insert inside of this. So these are the little Rolos that I put together in a line in this cute little plastic container that's going to go inside here. So what I need to do is add some really duty, heavy, sticky tape on this side. So I'm going to add some of this heavy duty double stick tape. This is one that you can get at Michael's. Ranger Ink has it as well. So I'm just going to add that right here. Trim off this little piece. Probably going to do two on this just to really make sure that it's sticking inside there well because this is going to act as the little handle to your paintbrush. So I just want to make sure it's adhered nicely. So I'm just going to do a couple of these. Okay. And now I'm going to scoot this inside my box. i got to make sure I've got it the right way. <sighs> you know what? I didn't do it the right way. All right. Well, that's no worries. All right. Let's do it on this side, the right side here. Because I want to keep the little buttons facing forward. So let's try this again. The right side this time, silly me. Okay, and we'll trim that off and peel those off the top part to the sticky tape. 
and top part to the sticky tape. Okay, let's try that again. And then we're gonna scooch it inside of here. And we're just gonna press, press inside of here just to really make sure that we're getting that to stick well. And these are kind of flipping a little bit, so there we go. We got that down. And now we're going to fold the box over because I do have all the double stick tape on here. We're going to kind of press along as we go. And then, oh, you know what I just realized? Whoops, a daisy. I put this on there and this shouldn't have gone on there. This should go on top of this. So I am going to peel this off because I'm going to need to put it on top of here. Silly me. All right, so that's going to go down like this. And, whoa, I'm pushing a little bit too hard. Whoops. Okay. Got to be a little gentle. Remember that I'm dealing with paper here. Okay. And then this will go this way to finish this off nicely here. Whoops. It's not wanting to stick very well. Okay. Let's try that again. Go all the way up there. Okay. There we go. Isn't that so cute? Oh, my goodness. So this is the little paintbrush handle. You can also do these with little nuggets if you have them. You can do it with M&Ms if you have it, something like that, just so it creates a little row here. Hi everybody, I wanted to show you really quick that I decided to change it a little bit. I added a bow to it and then just went with just this rather than the other sentiment. I just like this better. I think it looks less busy. So this other sentiment that I have here, I'll probably just add it to another one that I've done. So I've done like five of them for all my kids. So maybe just something like that. It was just too busy, I thought. So anyway, I had a second thought on it, and I love the sentiment, though, paint the town red. So anyway, there's a couple little different variations, and this one I just did them kind of random colors, and then this one was all red. So hope you guys like the little bit of change that I did, and have a wonderful day, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.